of this subject programming programming for problem solving we have completed the three lectures in which we have studied about the computer hardware basics of computer anatomy then uh, basics of c programming language how the program returns how the program writes how the program can be write what are the operators in part 1 of today's lecture we will cover the conditional statement if else statement and uh, in the part 2 we will cover the nested if else statement statement and switch case statements hi i am dr shriyash atri welcome to s chand academy before we go ahead these are the some good engineering books from s chand publishing conditional statements there are two types of conditional statement one is if else statement and another is switch case statement one by one we will uh, do all these things in the first part of this we will cover up to the if else if statement and in the second part we will cover the nested if and switch case statement so what is if else statement if certain expression is given to you if that expression is true then if particular condition is true or certain expression is true then this particular statement will execute inside the if statement if else in the if else what happens if there are two conditions now we have to check the two condition if one condition is false then we will go into the else part okay either of the two condition must be true if or else if there are more than two conditions then we will go towards the if else if and else statement okay let's understand everything one by one with the help of example first we'll focus on the if condition if i am saying the expression if a is greater than b one is greater than two condition is false so this particular statement this particular block will not execute my control of the compiler goes directly outside to this without going inside of this this is about the uh, if only if statement if my expression is like that 2 is greater than 1 if 2 is greater than 1 okay or that means the condition is true so it will the control will go inside this here and here we are printing like printf i am writing the statement printf hello okay if this condition is true then it will print hello else it will it will do nothing this is the simple if statement now we will focus on if else statement when the two conditions is provided to us so let's understand this concept with the help of we have to find out out of the two number which is the greater number when we need to check the two conditions either of the two condition one is true if this condition is true then it will print this statement if this condition is false then control moves to the else part and it will print this statement okay this is a simple example of how to use the if else statement now we will use the if else if statement to using the if else if statement let me take the example of three variables and out of those three variables which is the largest variable i need to find out so if i take the example here a is 5 b is 4 and c is 6 and c is 6 the value of a b c a is 5 4 6 now we i need to write the expression in conditional statement now apply the concept using the value of a is the value of a is a is 5 b is 4 and c is 6 now check it 5 is greater than 4 and 5 is greater than 6 this condition is false because 5 is greater than 4 it is true and 
फाइव इज ग्रेटर देन सिक्स विच इज फॉल्स सो इन एंड ऑपरेटर बोथ द कंडीशन मस्ट बी ट्रू अदरवाइज इट विल गिव अस द आउटपुट जीरो सो द आउटपुट ऑफ द आउटपुट ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट इज जीरो सो कंट्रोल विल गो इन द एल जिफ पार्ट सो इन एल जिफ अगेन फोर इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव एंड फोर इज ग्रेटर देन सिक्स बोथ द कंडीशन आर फॉल्स सो माई कंट्रोल विल गो इन टू द डायरेक्टली इन टू द एल्स पार्ट इन एल्स पार्ट बाई डिफॉल्ट इट इज रिटर्न बिकॉज वी हैव चेक बोथ ए विद द बी एन सी एंड सी विद द एंड बी विद द ए एन सी सो बोथ द कंडीशन आर फॉल्स दैट मीन थर्ड कंडीशन इज बाई डिफॉल्ट ट्रू सो हेयर द सी इज द ग्रेटेस्ट सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन राइट द इफ एल्स इफ स्टेटमेंट सो दिस इज फॉर द थ्री कंडीशन इफ यू नूट चेक इफ यू नूट चेक द फाइव फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए बी सी नाउ डी इक्वल टू टेन and e equal to 12 okay now out of these we need to check this 5 so we can increase or decrease our if else if statements as per our choice let's understand the conditional statement using this small programs okay to find the enter number is even or not, even or not okay if if a user entered some number we have to find out that whether that number is even or not, or not we have to write the program for this so how to write the program first of all we will start with the header file hash include stdio.h then main int i want to enter a number in a variable num so num is a short form of a number now print f statement print f enter a message that enter any number now we have to enter take the number from the user so for that we have to apply the scanf scanf my format specifier that is percentage d comma m percent and the name of the variable m percent num and semicolon <coughs> so the user has entered a number now my objective is to find whether that number is even or not okay so through how to calculate the even number if the number is divided by 2 okay and the remainder is zero remainder means modulus the if the modulus is equal to zero that means it is an even number so we will apply this formula in if condition if number modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 we have to write the equality operator because whatever the output is here that output must be equal to 0 okay if i write 4 4 modulus 2 my remainder is 0 0 equal to equal to 0 if this condition is true that means we will write print f percentage d percentage d is percentage d is even okay and comma we have to write the number as well variable name n u m and if this condition is false then we will write go into the else part in else if it is this condition is false that means number is not even so we will write here print f percentage d is not even comma 
number and close so this was open this was closed and this was open so we have to close this main as well so it is a very small program of using the if else statement to check whether the entered number is an even number or not i hope it is clear to you you can type on your ide any ide and check out uh, what the output is coming our next program is to enter any character and find out whether that character is a vowel or not okay so what is the condition of the vowel a e i o u these are the five vowels of english so we have to check out this if the character is equal to or the character is similar to out of this five that means it is vowel else it is not an vowel or it is an consonant so i will not write the whole program i will write only the concept here so concept is if we assign the char value that is variable data type char ch okay char ch and we have to scan the character value from the user scan f format specifier for the character is percentage c comma ch m percent the name of the variable ch so with the help of this statement you can get the value from the user so once the value has been entered now we have to check this character with this given vowels in the inside the if if ch my vowel uh, any character which i have entered that is inside the variable ch so i will compare the variable ch with these in, uh, individual characters so if i need to ch is equal to my characters should be written in single quotes my characters should be written in single quotes okay if ch equal to equal to a whatever the character you have entered which is saved in a ch variable if that is equal to equal to a or ch equal to equal to e or ch equal to equal to f uh, i then in the continuation of here or ch equal to o inside the single quotes or ch equal to u okay these all are the small uh, these are all are in the lower case so if the user entered in the upper case so we have to compare that upper case as well so these are the five conditions using the lower case the same five conditions we can apply here for the upper case as well if ch is equal to capital a or ch is equal to capital i or ch is equal to capital i ch is equal to capital e capital i then capital o and then capital u so this is a huge if statement in this if statement we have applied the or logical operator and equality operator and we are comparing the values of ch variable with all our five different uh, uh, lower case and upper case alphabets so there are 10 different conditions are given in single if statement out of this if uh, out of this 10 statements any uh, statement is true that means my output is print f
परसेंटेज सी परसेंटेज सी इज वॉवल एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ परसेंटेज सी इज रिटर्न इन द वेरिएबल सी एच इफ दिस कंडीशन इज फॉल्स दैट मीन्स एल्स दैट मीन्स इट इज नॉट इन वॉवल वी कैन राइट अ स्टेटमेंट प्रिंट एफ द परसेंटेज सी इज अ कॉन्सोनेंट ओके If I entered the सी एच लेट सपोज इफ आई एंटर्ड द वैल्यू बी बी इक्वल टू ए बी इक्वल टू एवरी स्टेटमेंट विल बी चेकड एवरी स्टेटमेंट विल बी चेकड बिकॉज बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू ए आई ओ यू लोअर केस इन अपर केस सो इट विल नॉट गो इन साइड दिस इट विल डायरेक्टली गो इन द एल्स पार्ट एंड फ्रॉम द एल्स पार्ट वी हैव प्रिंटेड दैट बी इज नॉट अ वोवल इट इज एन कॉन्सोनेंट सो दिस इज द स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ if condition using the if else statements i hope it is clear to you part 1 of conditional statement we have studied about the if statement if else and if else if statements how to use that with the help of two or three small programs we have studied the things now in the part 2 we will study about the nested if else statement and switch case statement i recommend these engineering books from s chan publishing uh, if you like this video do like subscribe and share and press the bell icon for future notifications this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder